Hello everyone. I think I'm live. Yeah, I can see myself. So, oh, I can see that these pens need to be out of the way a little bit. We don't need to sit and look at pens. Let's just see. Okay. That looks pretty good. I was having a little problem just getting my phone to accept my Facebook Live. It didn't want to turn over to my Crafts by the Bow page, but I've got there. So, hello and welcome. I'm Diane from Crafts by the Bow, and today I'm going to be making this little card. Not with this paper, because this is an older paper, but I'm making this style of card. So I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds to make sure that it really is going live. If you're here, can you just give me a hello so that I know? Um, I can't see much on my computer. Oh, there it is. There it is. I was looking in the wrong spot. Okay, so, yep, I think we're live. Right. There, that looks better. I can see people now. Okay, so, say hello. Let me know you're here. You know, either a thumbs up or a heart or something just so I know that I have got the right the right setup today because every week honestly Facebook has changed one week it doesn't let you in um, another week it's switched now I have to switch profiles I used to be able to just put on whichever one I liked but uh, I still love Facebook so I just have to get used to it <laughs> okay so this is the card that I'm going to make today. I'm just going to take this little ribbon off. We're not putting a ribbon on the one that we're making right now, but it's like a little trifold designer series paper card. It only has one piece of card, which is only a quarter of a sheet. And the piece that does all the work is the designer series paper. So that's what I'm going to make. And I'm going to show you the paper that I'm going to use is from the celebration book and it's one of the free items and I have shown you the paper before I just haven't done anything with it I haven't even cut a single piece of it yet so let me just show you you see me use this paper and I love this paper but I'm not using that one tonight I'm using the $120 order item there we go. So it's the Wonderful World stamp set and the matching paper. And what you need to do is if you spend $120, then you can choose this set for free and you get the stamps and the paper. And when I got mine, I actually did my Paper Pumpkin subscription and I did a six month and it meant that I got celebration items on it. Now, I love Paper Pumpkin, and I get it all the time, but I only ever order it during celebration, because then I get something extra for free. So this is the paper. It's all 12 by 12. Let's move that little one out of the way. Hi, Judy. Yeah, I'm really well. The sky is blue, it's sunny, and Facebook let me in. <laughs> so how's your day going? I'm using this free paper from Celebration and uh, there are two of each design. I've seen some really pretty cards with this one where people have just fussy cut around. You don't even need to stamp anything, you can fussy cut the whole image out. Um, there's two of each design. This reminds me of um, William Morris type wallpaper, I love that colour. This is the paper I'm going to use. So I'm going to take that piece out as we're going along. Yeah, isn't it nice to see the sunshine? Um, I did hear that we're in for a storm later on though, Judy. So uh, I know we could do with the water, but uh, I, don't, I don't really want a storm right now. The sky's blue though, we should be good. Okay, so then this is the next paper. And let me just turn it around so you can see those little flowers on the back. Isn't that pretty? And then the last design, I think, is the last design, or the, yeah, is the 
this one, which is very similar to the one that I said a lot of people have just fussy cut round and used those images. So it's those same flowers, just much smaller. And that's it. So I think that's a really nice set of paper. I love these purples in it. And the colours in there are going to be Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Orchid Oasis, Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand and Starry Sky. But you can use some of our other colours. Like Pear Pizzazz, if you wanted to use something slightly darker, then Old Olive would look just as good. Because really, I find that if I stamp off with Old Olive, it almost makes purpose as anyway. So lots of our colours are all related in that way. Okay, so let's pop that paper over there. Hi Laurie, how are you doing? Yeah, a little too hot outside for me. I've stayed in most of the day, to be fair. Um, and I've had the fan going because I, I'm not really very good outside in the heat. I get a bit too cranky. <laughs> so this is the paper I'm using and it's from this wonderful world set where if you spend $120 you get the stamps and the paper. And I am going to use the stamps as well. What it doesn't have are sentiments but we've all got tons of sentiments so I'm going to choose a sentiment from my art gallery set because it's photopolymer, it means I can see just where I want to stamp. And these sentiments I use a lot. You've probably seen, I use those ones quite a lot. And I'm also going to use something else that's new. The Fabulous Frame dies. Fabulous Frames, I beg your pardon. And I've had one little try with these when they came. But I haven't made anything with them. Hi Wendy, how nice to see you. <gasps> Oh, I hope you're staying cool in the UK. My mum and all my family are in East Yorkshire and they are just melting. Um, I think it's like fans with ice cubes in front and they can't sleep either. But what a bonus. I wouldn't wish that heat on anybody, but it's lovely to see you, Wendy. So these little fabulous frames, I'm using this one. And can you see how it's got a little bit of embossing on as well? So when you cut this out, you get a little embossed piece. I do like this one as well, that you can make like a photo frame. But I haven't used that yet either. So I'm just going to use that one. And let's pop that to one side. And then here are the free stamps that came with the paper. So I'm using a piece of paper. I'm using the stamps. So they're my freebies. I'm using my little photo frame piece and I think that's everything okay, and this is the card I'm going to make this little sort of trifold with a designer series paper and it uses only a quarter of a sheet of cardstock so it's really economical okay so what I am going to do as well is put the measurements up here as I've cut something I'm going to pop the measurements on I know you can always go over to my blog and I have all the things on there but sometimes you just want to take a quick screenshot so that you know what the sizes are. So that's what I'm doing tonight. And I'm going to start with my design series paper first. And this piece has an orientation. So I can't, the back it wouldn't matter, but the front, I can't just have it you know, cut any old way because this might be going the wrong way. And we need it so that this is the main you know the length of it so we have to have our orientation going this way and I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter now, I don't need this piece I'm just going to pop that over there for now and I now have a piece that's 12 by five and a quarter you're in South Wales Wendy oh, okay yeah I, I love Wales. Uh, I think the, um, hmm, it's going to be a bit difficult here, but the scenery is wonderful. I did a, a week's work on the Festinog Railway 
um, when I was doing my Duke of Edinburgh Gold Award and I just fell in love with those beaches and the mountains and everything but of course I, I still love my East Yorkshire <laughs> okay so my DSP is cut at 12 by five and a quarter okay and we're going to score it and I'm going to score it at it's really easy four whoops four six and eight okay so let's put this back in here I'm going to score it at four if you don't have a paper trimmer that scores you can always use a scoring board as well oh I think I went a bit heavy with that that might have cut mm. actually it might be okay I'll see if it did cut through I will cut another piece okay so that's six and then let's put it all the way across at eight I will need the trimmer again in a few minutes and I'm just going to check this piece can you see I scored it I pushed really hard and it sort of cracked the paper so I just need to make sure that it's not going to tear okay. now this is going to be our front piece so that will be on the back and it will be glued down but uh, let's see okay so this is our front so we're going to fold it back okay and then at the next fold, we're going to fold it back again and then back again. And that gives you like a little M fold. So almost like opening a little book and these are the pages. Okay, so I'm just gonna press that down. I think it's gonna be okay. Right, so let's cut some card. I'm going to use, um, I don't know whether to use Blackberry Bliss or which raspberry. Let's have a little look. I think I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss because I've got this one nearest to me. Okay, you see how that looks on that? Oh, isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm going to take out the Blackberry Bliss and I need just a quarter of a sheet. So I'm going to cut this down at five and a half. And I'm going to put half away. I always keep half pieces on my desk here ready to do card bases. I'm going to turn this half sheet round and cut it at four and a quarter. Okay, put one away. I only need the one. And this is going to attach onto here. Okay. Now, I'm not very happy because I can see that little piece and it's bothering me, but I'm just going to sort of fold it under with my nail there. I don't, do you know, it's bothering me, so I'm going to cut a new piece. Let's cut this down again at five and a quarter because I know it's there. The, the recipient won't know it's there, but I do. So let's take that little piece off. And then I'm going to score a bit more lightly <laughs> this time. I'm going to score it at four. And then at six. And then at eight. And this right hand side is going to be the front. So I'm going to fold the whole of it back. And then I'm going to fold it back again and then back again. There we are. So now I don't have that little cut piece there, so I'm much happier with that. Right. And I'm also going to cut some white, some basic white, and I'm using the thinner card that goes inside. I just move that piece out of the way. I don't want to pick up that piece by accident. So my base card, let's write these measurements down as well, is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I need white for the inside and I'm going to cut that at three and three quarters by five. 
I'm just going to trim a piece off. Let's cut this bit fine. I don't need this piece, I'm going to move that right out of the way. But I'd like this piece that's three and three quarters. Now I just want to hold on to this because I'm going to do the front piece and I'm going to use that just to check a few things out. Okay. And then I need another little piece of design series paper. And that's going to be just an inch wide by five inches. And ideally, I would have liked to have been able to use this, but because it's, um, let's just see, because the orientation is this way, I think it'll look a little bit odd. So I'm going to cut a piece off that first one I did that had the little cut on it. I'm just going to cut a one inch piece off. Because I know this is orientated the right way. Let's pop that over there. And that extra little scrap. Okay. And then I'm going to attach this with the floral side looking up over here. It's a little bit long because my um, my card front is longer than the inside, of course. Right. So I'm just going to trim that over, trim that off in a moment. Let's pop a little bit of adhesive on here. And this just helps to make the inside look a little bit prettier. I'll probably use some of that other piece and do my envelope with it. I can just use it to decorate the little flap on my envelope. Let's get rid of that piece because we don't need that piece. Okay, and I'm going to attach this to the inside like this, and then I'm going to put the whole thing on the base, and then we only have to worry about the front. So, Wendy, how many more days of the heat are they forecasting for you? I saw that today was meant to be one of the worst days, but I didn't see how much longer it was going on. Let's just check. This is the five and a half by four and a quarter. Yes, it is. I'm going to put, so this will be our front. And as we open it, I'm going to put adhesive on the back. It's a shame that you won't see this side of the paper, but you see it on the front. And then close it all up. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to squash it right down until I can open it and see. Because I need to know that this is level. And it isn't quite. There we go. Now it is. It's better if you use the liquid adhesive because then you can wriggle it round as you need to. And this is just a little bit of glue that I have on my finger. So let's erase that. There we go. So that's our main card base and the start of what's going to what's going to make our little trifold card. So I can put that to one side. We don't need that again for a moment. I want to make the front of the card with this, and I'm going to use a little bit more of that Blackberry Bliss cardstock. But I want to put one of the roses on the front. And I'm not quite sure which colour I'm going to choose. So I'm going to take that little scrap that I have. And this is the rose that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to practice to see which way around. 10 degrees cooler tomorrow. Oh, that sounds lovely, Wendy. Okay, now. I want my whole image to be coloured, but I want my leaves to be green and my flower to be a pink or a purple. So what I'm going to do is not put it in an ink pad, I'm going to use my Stampin' Right markers. Now these Stampin' Right ones are just like our ink pads. And they have like a little bullet tip and they have a brush tip. And when they start to run out, what you do is you take the nib out. I use a pair of tweezers and gently pull it out. Put a couple of drops of ink in. Put the nib back in. Stand it upside down like this for a few minutes. And then it will 
works again. It's filled again with ink. So I've got some of the pinks. I've got, what's this, petal pink, melon mamba, which I'm looking, it might be a bit bright, flirty flamingo, and sort of trying to match these paler pinks, and blushing bride. And then for the leaves, I've got my purpose as. And I'm not quite sure which one I want. So I'm going to try them all. And that's why I've got this bigger piece of card. So let's do this flirty flamingo one. And let's find the brush end. And all you have to do, you don't even have to do it very well. You just need to colour the image. I'm using the side of the brush. Just colour over like that. Okay, and then do the same with the green. Now, if it's a, a larger stamp and it's taking you, you know, a couple of minutes to colour in, some of the ink might start to dry. So all you need to do is just sort of huff on it and like breathe on it, like this. Mine wasn't dry, but. So, let me just try. This would be Flirty Flamingo. Just so I can remember which the pinks are. They take a second or two to dry. And as they dry, they, the colours change slightly. Okay, so that's Flirty Flamingo. And then you see how this is one of those um, distinctive looking stamps where you can see different colours in it. And it isn't because we've, you know, stamped it a couple of times. That's just how it's made. Okay, now this one's petal pink. I'm going to do just the same again. Okay, and then I'm using the green again for the leaves. And I'm only doing it, you know, quite quick. If this was my main stamping, then I might do it a little bit slower. I just really am just looking for colours. Okay, ooh, I'm not sure I like that one so much. That looks a bit, bit dark, but this was petal pink. Okay, let's clean that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not as keen on that one. It doesn't show the variation in colour so much. Blushing Bride. Let's have a look at this one. Isn't it pretty, Laurie? And so easy to use. And it's only available during celebration, but I think it's one of those that I won't want to get rid of. Okay, let's do these leaves. You all ready for Saturday, Laurie? You ready for Christmas in July? Okay. Hmm. There might be a bit much ink on that one too. Let me try doing it and not putting quite so much on. Maybe I'm putting putting it on a bit too too much. Let's just do it a little lighter. Maybe less is more. Mm, less is the same. <laughs> I'll wait till it dries a little bit. Oh, actually, less is drying better. Okay, so this one was a uh, blushing bride. Okay. Let's clean that one. And let's put them near the paper. Yeah, do you know, I'm, I'm liking that flamingo too. I'm liking that. Let's put it near a big piece, bigger piece of the paper. I think that's pretty. Um, do you know, I could try one more. I brought um, 
Blackberry Bliss and Rich Raspberry Berry. Let's just try Rich Raspberry Berry. Let me find another little scrap. Let's have a try of this. And then we've tried them all. Mm -hmm. Let's wait for that to dry a second. But what do you think? Yeah, I think you're right, Judy. I think the Flirty Flamingo shows the stamp better. Do you like the Rich Razzleberry or the Flirty Flamingo? Let's see. What do you think? Let's put it near a piece of the, the designer series paper. Hmm. What do you think? What do you like best? So Flirty Flamingo, let me write on here, this was Rich Razzleberry. I love trying out all my stamps with all the different colours. What do you think? Mmm, I like them both, you know. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp one of each, and then when we get to the card, we'll see which we like best. I like that because it picks up this colour, but I like this... Uh, I love that flirty flamingo as well. Okay, so I'm going to cut a little bit more card and I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut the frame out on my mini cut and emboss machine. So I know I can only cut it a certain width. Let me just see. I think I can cut it three. Now that, that's three and a half. So I'm going to cut this and check how wide the frame is. That's three and a quarter. So I'm going to cut my card at three. Do you know, Wendy, I agree. I think either would be beautiful too. Okay, so let's cut a couple of pieces at three. Okay. And while I'm here, I'm going to do a piece of the rich raspberry as well. And I think I've got... Oh, I thought I had a smaller piece, but I don't. Let's just cut this at three. If it was going through the larger cut and emboss machine, I wouldn't have to cut this down. It's just because of the width on the mini. Okay. So I'm going to stamp one of each and then we'll cut it out and then we'll see. Right, so where's my thing? Flirty Flamingo. Let's do that one first. Flirty Flamingo, and I'm just going to do it right in the middle. Actually, I've gone all the way to the edges. Oops, that one's gone to the leaf. I don't want a pink leaf. Okay, and then here is our pear pizzazz. Have you been out with the dogs today, Rory? I I only ventured out to water my plants outside. Oof, it was too warm for me. And I thought about you walking the dogs. Clean that and I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to do the Rich Raspberry one. So let's change that pen and find the Rich Raspberry. I'm going to do the leaves first this time. Always quiet when I'm colouring, sorry ladies. So I'm not going to put too much on. Really 
easy to colour like this, isn't it? Pop that one into over here. Okay, I'll clean this. Oh, that was a good time to go early this morning. Yeah. It must be tiring for those poor little dogs as well. Okay. I'm just going to pop this one back in the box. And then let's cut them out. So I've got the little mini cut and emboss just because it's easier for me to have on my desk. You can use whichever one you have, whichever kind of cutting machine. Okay, this one, it's really, you don't want to have like this flat edge going through first. You want to try and have things on an angle so it takes a little bit of a die first. So I'm just going to try and angle it a little bit. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Oh, it's so nice to to meet people, people who always comment uh, or say, you know, hi, I'm in the UK, and then I never usually get to see you all, and then just it's a treat for me to be able to see you. So thank you. It's as much of a treat for me as it is for you. <laughs> okay, let's try this rich raspberry one next. I'll try and get it. I don't want it to be on too much of an angle. Yeah, I, but I'll put the card on an angle there. That's a bit easier. Let's pop this down. both of those little bits and we don't need that piece and then let's try the flirty flamingo one I was thinking last week Wendy when I did my Facebook live because I did it at a different time um, I did it I think it was about one o'clock in the afternoon for me so if I did more ones like that then I could see you more often I should vary the time, shouldn't I? Do an extra one now and then, so that I can I can chat to you more often. Okay. Oh, I did the purple one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So let's pop that away. We don't need that anymore. And let's throw that one away. Now I'm just going to stamp my sentiments before we decide as well. And I think I'm actually going to stamp my sentiment. Um, I've got old olive on my desk, so it will just come up green, but I think it might look quite nice. So let's find the sentiment we're going to use. Um, I'm going to do this one that says, you are lovely. this green for a while it's looking like it's a a little bit um, powdery on the corners there let's hope that this is oh look I've got a little ding there uh oh never mind we'll pop something on that One thirty-two. <laughs> There's seven hours difference between us, Wendy. You're seven hours in the future. Um, I know 
know sometimes my mum uh, or one of my relatives has called and uh, said, Oh, what time is it there? Oh, it's like three in the morning here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's easy to get confused with the times. Okie dokie, let's see. Let's find the front of our card. So I'm going to use the purple frame. <laughs> Good spot for a pearl. Exactly right, Wendy. <laughs> okay, and then let's see what we like inside. So, so this is the flirty flamingo one. And this is the rich raspberry one. What do you think? What do you like best? There's rich raspberry. And here is flirty flamingo. What do you think, ladies? What do you like best? I like them both. But I'll go with whatever you decide. And while you're deciding, I'm going to tie a little... You like the pink? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's always a problem, isn't it, when you're in a different time zone, Wendy? Okay, so Laurie likes the pink and wants me to put that. A little pearl on there. Probably just put sort of a couple of little pearls here and one over here. But I'm going to tie a bow while we're, while we're thinking. Oh, that bow's a bit wide. Let's do round just two. Mm, yeah, two looks, two looks long enough. So, okay, you both like, both like the pink. So pink it is. Don't know how long I want those tails yet. I'm wondering if we can put this one down flat and this one just standing up a little bit. I think I might do that. If if you wanted, I'm going to put liquid glue around, but if you wanted, you could cut this out on a piece of the um, double side adhesive. You know, the paper. And uh, that way you wouldn't have to put a very thin bead down here. If your card's a little bit thin, you could always cut out two. That would, you know, glue those together and that would make it just a little bit sort of more solid as well. Make sure I've got that the right way. Pop this, sort of eyeball it for the middle. Oh, I don't think it's very straight. Let me just move that round a bit. There we go. That looks a bit straighter. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to pop up on Dimensionals. And we'll find some pearls in a moment. Pop some in the middle. And let's find a glue dot too. Let's take these little backings off. And the other little one that I've made in the um, rich raspberry. I'll just make another card with that. There's enough of the darker on the background. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, let's pop this little bow on. Yeah, I don't think you needed the dark flower as well. It picks up those lighter colours, doesn't it? Just roll that little glue dot up like a little bogey. There we go. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that on the on the leaves there. I'm going to cut the tails just a tiny bit. I'm not, I'm not even using my ribbon scissors there. Should be really. But on a piece of twine, I think it's okay. And then let's find some pearls. Let's move that one out of the way. Um, I'm going to write on here which ones we used. So we used um, the frame and that was Black Rib Lace. I 
and then we used Flirty Flamingo. And pear pizzazz. Mix. Okay. Right, let's add little pearls. Let's see what we've got. I like these pearls. I think these ones might be a little too bright. Yeah, they are a bit too bright. I like these pastel pearls. But let's see what else we've got. Ooh. What about a little butterfly? Let's see. That would cover it up. Let's just have a look. Do you know? I'm just going to put one little butterfly there. I like that. And it covers it up perfectly. Okay. Thank you, Judy. It's um, because of the paper that it's so pretty. Yeah, the um, little pearls that we had with the hydrangea set, these pastel pearls, we've used them a lot. And Laurie attends a stamp class that I do every month. We do them by Zoom. And in our last pack of things, we had these pearls and they're just so versatile. And if it's not quite the color you want, you know, color over with your blends uh, and make it a different color. So I love pearls for that reason. And the same, actually, with the little rhinestones. You can colour these in as well. I was colouring them last week for a card. But you can colour these in as well. So you don't always have to have every pack of pearls in every colour or every pack of rhinestones. Because you can use some that are a bit more versatile like this and colour them. So there we are. Thank you, ladies. So I hope you like that. I hope you'll give it a go. Now... On my original, you'll see if you saw right at the beginning. So this is this is my look, my template for the card, and I had a piece of ribbon round. Um, let me just tie this back in a bow. So if you wanted, you could have it so that it was tied up move that to the side and then you could put let me just find a little little piece to go on the front so if you didn't have these frames you could put a little image something on here and then pop it over the top of the ribbon like that you could put a couple of glue dots under the ribbon to tie it down or some tear and tape now if i send cards like this Often I have to put a little note in that says, you know, undo the ribbon. You don't have to keep it like that, just so that you can enjoy the whole of the card. So sometimes people don't realise that you're meant to have the ribbon undone. And then when they've got it on the mantelpiece, you know, you can have the ribbon undone too. Okay, so thank you for joining me. Oh, Wendy, send us a picture of what you make. That would be great. And I'm sorry that you've got the heat there, but I'm really happy for us that you were able to join us tonight. So thanks ever so much. Okay, ladies, so have a go with those. If you are placing an order and it comes to $120, get this set because the paper and the stamps, they're just so pretty. So let's find the paper again. So, so this little set, I think it's going to be one of the best sellers now. Well, it can't be a seller if it's free, but, you know, the most chosen, maybe. Uh, the pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes have already sold out here in North America. And I think the paper that I was using last week with the little birds on, I don't think that'll be far behind. But this set, I, I think this is a really, really pretty set and worth you know worth going for okay ladies thanks so much for joining me have a wonderful week and i'll see you next week so stay cool and wendy i hope it's i hope it's raining during the night and everything cools down and uh, stay safe everybody thanks so much for joining me take care